in this lesson we are going to learn about superposition theorem okay before that let's first learn about a terminology regarding what is a linear network okay let's just say i have a resistance over here okay and i connect a battery like this okay so obviously the potential difference across the resistance is same as the battery's voltage right so the current that flows through this particular resistor is simply going to be what my current is v upon r okay any element whose response what is a response over here if you apply a voltage source you have a current flowing okay so in this case this voltage source is known as your excitation okay and due to this excitation there is a flow of current this flow of current is your response okay so for a resistor we know my response is directly related to my excitation right my i is equal to v upon r or in other words my i is equal to a constant into v okay my current is linearly dependent on my excitation my response is linearly dependent on my excitation such an element is known as a linear element okay however if you had a diode okay let's just say you had a diode and you are applying a voltage source like this okay then the current flowing through this particular diode if you are going to draw a graph it's going to be something like this okay let's just say this is your v which is this potential difference across this diode and this is your current okay or in other words this is your excitation okay and this is your response okay over here what you're going to see is your graph is something like this okay in a resistor your graph is going to be like this okay so over here you have a linear graph while for a diode you have a non linear graph okay such an element is a non linear element okay so if your network only has linear elements then it is a linear network okay and your superposition theorem which we are going to look at shortly is only applicable to linear networks okay now let's see what exactly is my superposition theorem my superposition theorem states that response in a linear network where you have multiple power sources is actually due to sum of response due to individual power sources with other power sources replaced with their internal resistance okay so response in a linear network which has multiple power sources is simply due to sum of responses due to individual power sources with other power sources replaced with their internal resistance okay let's understand what's happening i'll just write it down for you with other power sources replaced with their internal resistance or with their ri okay so it basically means that if you have a circuit let's say like this okay you have a current source you have let's say another voltage source okay and let's just say you have a resistance like this okay so let's just say this is 